I've reviewed a couple of quality Bluetooth speakers on my channel, and when I think back to which one I'd put on the top of the hill, I'm not so sure it would be such an easy choice. That is, until today, enter the Sonos Era 300, my first foray into anything Sonos. Let's talk about it and find out why I've become a fan. Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Sonos. In fact, Sonos doesn't even know I exist, so you can expect an honest, unbiased review. That said, if you find this video helpful and want to help support my channel, you can do so by using the links in the description. It really does make a difference. The Sonos Era 300 currently retails for $449 and is as easy to set up as plugging it in, downloading the app, and setting it up with your phone. The physical buttons on the top of the unit allow you to swipe left or right to lower or raise the volume, go to the previous track, play, pause, or group your Sono speakers together, go to the next track, and you can use this speech bubble icon to turn on and off the voice assistant. That's right, it has built-in voice control, and when you command Hey Sonos, you can do things like play music, ask for a specific song or artist, raise or lower the volume, turn off the speaker, and more. On the back, we've got a Bluetooth button up top where you can long press to pair a new device or short press to reconnect. Then we've got your power connection port in the middle and on the bottom, a switch to turn on or off the microphone and a USB-C port, which can be used with the Sonos line-in adapter that retails for $19 to connect a turntable or other 3.5 millimeter audio device. Inside this big body are six speakers all around that help deliver sound to the front, sides, and up top, which not only make sound more immersive, but allow the speaker to deliver quality Atmos content when paired as a rear speaker with a Sono soundbar. Six Class D digital amplifiers power four tweeters, one which faces forward for center image, two to the side for separation, and one upward firing horn for Atmos content. You've also got two woofers, which give great low end angled left and right for stereo playback. Now, having all these different drivers outputting sound in different directions allows for spatial audio, which takes advantage of formats like Dolby Atmos and creates a much more immersive and engaging sound than say just stereo. Now, for that reason, you won't want to place the speaker in a bookshelf or anywhere where the surrounding environment might block some of those speakers from delivering the full spatial audio effect. It is hefty at a little over 10 inches wide, has a depth of about 6 inches, a height of over 7 inches, and weighs in at about 10 pounds. It's not meant to be portable, so you'll want to find a good space for it, then set it and forget it. I mentioned before that you can use a pair of them as rear speakers with a compatible Sono soundbar, like the Arc or Beam, but you can also use a pair for a stereo experience. One super handy feature you can access in the app is TruePlay, which analyzes your acoustic environment and calibrates the speaker so you don't have to worry about trying to find the best sweet spot. Now, if for some reason you're still not satisfied after calibrating, you can still further edit the EQ by adjusting bass, treble, the height speaker level, and more. I find the app very intuitive and there really is a lot you can do here, like tour the speaker's abilities, add your favorite music services like Spotify, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, Apple Music, and a ton I've never even heard of before, try Sonos Radio, add more Sonos products, set up AirPlay, set parental controls, you really have to deep dive to see it all. On top of that, this new S2 version of the app promises higher resolution audio, and while I haven't heard the previous version, it really does deliver. The bottom line is that of all the Bluetooth speakers I've heard to date, the Era 300 has to be the best Bluetooth speaker I've heard so far. Spatial audio really makes a difference here, and this is based off of one speaker. I can only imagine how good two would sound, or even an entire Sono soundbar system. If I didn't already have a home theater in place, it might be something I'd seriously be considering. That said, there are a few things you might want to consider before making the jump. First off, it's $450, and a pair of these plus the top-tier ARC soundbar will cost you about $1,800 before taxes. That's a pretty big pill to swallow in this economy. 
It's also not designed for portability, so if you're looking for something to take to the beach or the pool, well, it needs to be plugged in for one, but it's absolutely not meant for that purpose. This is for high-quality spatial audio home listening in your comfort zone in an area where it'll never be moved. And finally, while I fully intended to showcase a demo for you of how the speaker sounds, even though you wouldn't get the full effect due to copyright issues, I'm only able to play music from my Soundstripe app, which is the service I use to get music for my videos, but because the app isn't compatible, I'm unfortunately not able to do so. So while the majority of apps people use daily should be supported, you might want to check before you buy. All that aside, I've got nothing but praise for the Era 300, and if sound quality is what's most important to you, this should definitely be at the top of your list. Now let me know in the comments what you think of the Era 300. If you've heard one, I'd like to know what you thought of it, and if you're going to buy one, please consider using my link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell, but that's going to wrap things up for today, so until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great rest of your day.